expression. It's a long way to Tipperary. It is a long way to Tipperary, brother. <laughs> Not far from Balik is Lower Loch Erne. It's famous for brown trout fishing, especially when the mayfly is up. The lake is huge, 20 miles or so long, and very deep in places, but most of the trout are caught in the shallow regions. So Raimondo, we have reached the first step of our epic journey. And that is mighty Loch Earn. And though Brandon has a fishing rod in his hands, I don't think we'll catch much today because it is dead flat still. So what flies are you using there today, Davy? Uh, we're using dry mayfly imitations. Uh, it's not a very good day for fishing, Dietrich, because it's very bright. Ray would love to hear that, uh, it's not because he hates blue skies. <laughs> so do I. But we'll, we'll have a go anyway with some of these dry mayfly imitations and see what happens. That's a mayfly here, and that is one of the delicacies for trout right, right, right. and swifts. Swifts? Swifts, yeah, they eat as well. The birds, yeah. See you another day. We'll see you again. See you when you get back. All the best. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye. And um, here are your maps. Okay. Okay. Yes, everything is in it. Everything so. is in it. Uh, yeah, I have given you these show us your binoculars. I have given you your binoculars and your charts and you just sign there. So Raimondo, unfortunately we did not catch a fish, but we are on our way to Ennis Killen. Und das Wichtigste zum Schluss. Yeah. Raimondo, look what you have left me into, eh? Yeah. We should have one of those boys there. On now. On the numbers here, or on the markers like mm -hmm. this. So you read the numbers, you can use your binoculars to read the numbers so you know exactly where you are. Yeah. Okay, very important. For time, roughly, one page is about two hours. Okay. And this boat is a little faster than most, so maybe you could allow it an hour and a half, as long as there's no speed limits. Yeah. Okay. The kettle is going, and we have a few witnesses, Raimondo, as you can see. Fresh milk. Fresh milk. And we even have another visitor, whilst Brendan is waiting for his tea. What is it, Dietrich? I can't see it. It's a swan, right? I don't want you. to move. A swan? Yes. They won't attack you, will really? they? Yes. But I think the water is boiling. Is it? Right. Ooh. Wunderbar! Wunderbar! <laughs> <laughs> it was very nice, very 
nice day to eat. I, I feel very refreshed now. Thank Thank God. You. Thank God. And in no time at all, we should, we should be in that is killing. Devonish Island has always been an important port of call for travellers. I convinced Dietrich to stop there, stretch the legs and have a look at the round tower, the standing stones and all the other early Christian monuments. St. Malaise founded the monastery sometime in the 6th century. Later the Vikings attacked and plundered the place repeatedly. Did you catch many? No, not yet. Well, it might come later. Hopefully. So remember, that is us at a place called Devonish Island. And there are a few other people with big boats. But ours is there as well somewhere. That's it. Hi. Hi. How is it going? Who is this? Good evening. That is Brandon. You Brandon. know, I'm from the small boat. Oh, the small, slow boat. No, no, the the so perfectly slow. wonderful little green boat. I'm Dietrich. Dietrich, nice to meet you. I think we are fellow countrymen, aren't we? It mm -hmm. sounds like These it. We are from Germany as well, isn't it? Yeah. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. <laughs> Guten Tag. <laughs> hallo. Yeah, hallo, Don. Christian. Yeah. Brandon. Good, Good evening. evening. How do you do? Thank God for small mercies. We met these young German fellows. They're brothers. They're great lads. Thank you for rolling at this life. Great. This is the life. Thank you very, very much. They offered to take us up to Inneskillen. We had already lost so much time because of the Mayfly fishing and the visit to Devonish Island. Being on the cruiser was just delightful. Even Dietrich, despite the love for his punt, enjoyed the comfort of the big boat. Gorgeous. Unfortunately, we were in Inniskillin in no time at all. Approaching the ancient town from the water makes you aware of the fact that it is built on an island, separating upper and lower Loch Erne. The lads wanted to stay in Inneskillin for the night, but we had to motor on. There was still enough daylight for a few hours of motoring. The strategic importance of Inneskillin becomes obvious when you come through the bridges and there's this castle right in front of you, almost like a fortress.
I would love to have spent the night in Inniskillen too, but Dietrich insisted on going on and find a place for the tent. We eventually pitched it on a damp, hard and stony patch of ground at a place called Carry Bridge.